Oh my god, Adam! He just, I don't know what he did, but he was just like, flirting with this Amy. Wow, we're, Sarah's still up here cleaning the sink. Oh my, wh what are you doing? Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Ultimate Decades Challenge. This is Christy here, and we are back in 1306, and today is a special day because it is May Day. Not that you would know because it's not showing up on most of their, most of the Sims, but it is May Day. And what is May Day? I was not familiar with the holiday. I'd heard of it, didn't really know much about it. So we're going to pull up our, I guess, trusty Wikipedia, and I'll let you know what it is. So May Day is a European festival of ancient origins, marking the beginning of summer, and usually celebrated on May 1st, around halfway between the spring equinox and summer solstice. Festivities may also be held the night before, known as May Eve, and traditions often include gathering wildflowers and green branches, weaving floral garlands, crowning a May Queen, sometimes with a companion, and setting up a maypole, may tree, or may bush, around which people dance. And sometimes there are bonfires, depending on the region, but all sorts of different countries, areas have a little bit different celebrations. So we're just kind of celebrating in general May Day. And for our Sims, that means just kind of celebrating when they're going to have a nice, oh, almost Marie's birthday, a nice meal. It's 7.30 in the morning, but people are hungry. So Sarah has made our fish head stew. And then speaking of Marie, who I think she's getting like a talking to. Oh, but she's about to. One last talking to before you become a child? Mm. Aww. Okay, I think she handled that well. But we'll let you get some fish head stew for breakfast. Beatrice can wake up as well. And then we have Thomas, our heir, who is fast asleep. And John, who is coming close to the end of his life. And he did make um, a scimitar, which I think might be the one we kind of pass down through the generations. But Marie's birthday is tomorrow, and hopefully, fingers crossed, on our death roll, she survives. And we have the ingredients to make a sponge cake for her. So hopefully she becomes a child and we can go visit the castle and maybe we'll try to bring them like a cheese tart. I think I was, I wanted to make, we just need to make some cheese for that and it'd be nice to bring over there and we can kind of peek in at the royal family and see if there's anything new happening. So lots and lots to do and we also can't forget we have, we're going to try for another baby. We've had a lot of girls and some death, so we probably want to, oh, you're harvesting. I kind of was just thinking we need to tend to our chores, but we should keep having babies and it's May Day. They might want to celebrate, so probably after they kind of hang out as a family, have a good time, get their chores done. I think maybe we'll invite Matthew and Cassandra out to the pub and they can just kind of have some fun as a family. I don't think Eleanor will want to come. Oh, first, okay. The tax collector. Let's see if this actually works. But I'd say I don't think Eleanor will want, will be in the mood to come. She did just lose two babies and we understand that so um i think it's supposed to be under royal yeah i still can't pay the tax collector so i don't know how to fix that so maybe this is also why we go visit the castle be like we're not trying to skip out our taxes he just won't let us pay and you're probably going to get stuck here again so i'm going to try to make him leave yeah if you know how to fix it not cleaner um, if you know how to fix, okay, well, how do I forget every time? 
MC Cheats makes them leave. If you know how to fix where we can't pay the tax collector, please let me know. That would be lovely. Yeah, you're you're now stuck here. Maybe I have to... Oh, what if I just like delete him? Would a new one generate? I think that's where I'm at. Okay, tax, <laughs> tax collector disappeared. We'll see if he regenerates next week. If not, we do pay our bills each week and they are expensive. So if I haven't mentioned yet, this would be a great time to subscribe if you are enjoying this challenge and this story. Oh, okay. They were having a little bit of a rough patch slightly and they seem to have repaired that. And part of the celebration is just, you know, enjoying company. Uh, why don't you maybe um, play with Beatrice and Marie? Ooh, I think that her skills aren't the greatest, and so she's not going to, like, really age up with much. I mean, she did master her potty, and she has a movement delay, so being level 2 is pretty good. Uh, what is John doing? You are cleaning up. Everyone is super clean. I did want him to make, we did make some ingots, craft a hanging sword rack. For some reason this is like part of the party or solo art and music spirit. I don't know how. Oh, and we do need to clean Clara. She's getting very finicky. Oh, even the chickens are in the party spirit. They're excited for May Day. I love it. So Sarah's really been keeping the inside of the house for the most part in line. I mean, we got, she fixed the sink, so we got to clean up in here a little bit. And Adam's really been taking care of the outside. So he's been doing most of the gardening and the animal care. And then John is really kind of just, um working on his blacksmith and I think they're all sick too. Yeah, Sarah is sick. We're gonna let her take a nap. Oh, I forgot about the toddler. He's been asleep, or not toddler, infant. I He's, I, unless someone fed him. Yep, someone fed him. Hopefully that doesn't mean bad things. Um, let's see, we haven't had to give him any any attention, but someone did. So he's a, John is a technophobe, but that is fine. Um, okay. Yeah. No, not self woohoo nap. I know you're flirty, but your child is coming in the room. Yeah. Pretend that didn't happen. Take a nap. While we let our wife nap, why don't you come gather some water and we're going to try to catch a few fish. So I feel like this um, fish head stew would be a good one to make quite a bit. Yeah, and Grandpa, oh, he is level 7 of blacksmith. He can now craft tables, chairs, and round shields. It's really too bad you are about to die pretty soon. And these toddlers really love to go splash in water. I mean, there's not much for them to do, so their parents really don't like it, though. They're always splashing in the toilet. They're going to go splash in uh, the laundry. Oh, and we can actually put our laundry away. It's finally dry. So we'll have, when Sarah wakes up, she can take care of that. And, like, why are you sad now? Oh, okay, Adam, hopefully you can catch a fish. Then we will feed Noble. Oh, at, I spoke that into existence. Go come and hand feed some prairie grass. We'll put our perch in our refrigerator. John finished the sword rack, so let's see what this is. Where could we... It's a hanging one, so we can really just like probably display it up here. So you can fit four swords on here, or weapons. And the axe and the, the basic sword I think we're going to sell. Oh, Matthew is here. He's saying it's time to go. Like, he just stopped by, let him know where we'll be at the pub down, like, in in town. We came all the way from Hunford on Bagley. So, Adam is just, like, finishing feeding <laughs> Clara. She was, didn't have any food. And looks like we'll have to refill that soon. But, all right. Finish up a few more things, and then we are going to... 
head over and see our brother and sister-in-law. And Matthew is a young adult now. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I have popped into, uh, before recording, popped into Matthew and, and Cassandra's household because I'm like, I wanted them to try for another baby. Aw, he can coo, Thomas. Because I would like for them to hopefully have a boy and just in case things don't work out for Adam. And Cassandra was already pregnant. So that was perfect. Um, but okay, no, stinky. Let's, let's go real fast before anything else needs to happen. Grandpa's awake. He can handle it. He is surprisingly good with children. Okay, here we are. And yeah, look at her. I think she, she was in the second trimester. So maybe swap baby milestone stories. We don't have a lot of food and oh, look who's here. <laughs> Johnny, I'm changing your outfit. That is not what I wanted. But we have Johnny who is really getting around. Um, are we, we're probably not going to have enough to order for the whole group. Oh, I mean, we can get everyone water. We have 69 bucks. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get sweet and spicy. Although Cassandra probably wouldn't want to drink. You can't order from outside. <laughs> but I wonder if anything is going to happen with Johnny here. Like, oh. Hopefully not. Like I, Matthew is so sweet. He's, uh, you know, maybe even a little bit like naive or idealist. But I don't want his heart broken. It right, doesn't look like she has noticed him yet. He is just. I mean, he's standing in the doorway, so I don't know how. All right, I think Cassandra is putting on a good face. Like she is not even turning around to look at Johnny. She's. I think she is. When did you get a nose ring? Okay, I'll have to fix that later. Um, and Nancy, I don't think I took her out of her career, so this might be why. Um, I'd have to go. I'll have to go into their households again. I don't remember where I was going with that. Oh, and the the king and the maid. Wonder if there is any truth to this. And I mean, this was not planned at all. I. I thought about having like Johnny show up, but he just happened to be here. Kind of forgot about this maid, but this this could be a little juicy. I do keep meaning to like come into this build and like update, like get rid of. I, I guess I can do that right now. Like we don't need these <laughs> these kegs. I also added another closet up here because I just like more places to potentially cause drama if they want to on their own. I mean, it looks really weird like this, but I, the, because everything's, uh, it's like built on an angle. Uh, I wanted to put it over here. I, I was just having difficulties. So, and, um, Eckbert, uh, Eleanor's brother-in-law is Ryan Bike inside. Oh, they're, they're leaving. I wonder if it's because spotted, um, Matthew. What? Oh, and you're cleaning here? Oh, I, I could replace the sink too. Yeah, I wonder if you, she noticed you and you look sad. Ah, oh, maybe she broke your heart. Hmm. All sorts of juiciness are coming, coming along. And Bella is here. I also think I need you to quit your job. I took a look inside their household and, um, Hold on, let me pull up the family tree. So it seems like Bella and Mortimer have fixed their issues. They actually adopted a teen, Kaylin. So something happened and I know maybe Kaylin, they're just kind of hosting or maybe they have adopted her, maybe knew her family, something like that. Um, but yeah, they had full friendship and almost full romance again oh my god adam he just i don't know what he did but he was just like, flirting with this amy wow we're, sarah's still up here cleaning the sink 
Oh my, wh what are you doing? I think his woohoo drive is just like out of control apparently. Um, that's not you. I expected you to be like loyal and in front of your mother. No, I don't think his mother-in-law was there. I think she just walked up. She might not have seen that. Man, relationships are getting like kind of messy. Oh, Eleanor did show up. Aww. Here, let's like, let's talk with your sister. Like, stay away from these other people. And okay, Sarah, you can really like stop cleaning. Oh my god. Um, wash your hands a couple times to help your hygiene, and then come down here. Your husband is like needs supervision. And I honestly didn't even notice the foosball table. I could have definitely got rid of that. And ooh. Towny fashion. I like it. I mean, I don't like this woman that Adam was flirting with or doing something. She just took over, like, from the bartender. The bartender doesn't really care, but, I mean, I don't know, maybe she owns this place. Well, Sarah's going to kind of throw some confetti with her mother. <laughs> that was very loud. They're all celebrating. Everyone is loving May Day. Maybe a little too much. I don't know. Adam, you're making me nervous. Like, this, these ladies are quite attractive. Um, Ulfid, Ulfid and Katerina. They're, I think they're both married. But so are you, and I didn't stop you. Okay, you're... That lady's leaving. Good. It's time for us to leave. It's almost midnight. You're very tired. It looks like the bar is going to be closing down. And, um, all right. Too much is happening. <laughs> we do have one order of business left. Let's <laughs> make sure, like, okay, John, it's really dirty in this house. Um, here, you can mop, I guess. You are hungry and tired. Oh, we don't have any food. Okay, you're going to do some cooking real quick. Um, oh, we still have some fish. Yeah, we have fish. Make another fish head stew. And the kids are hungry. Oh, hold. Okay. Um, you're not quite there yet to be able to have a bottle. So we need to first uh, feed the infant. And then you can make the stew. Um, Adam, you're very tired, but you're going to clean up. Get this house in order, because we need to make another baby. I think the shed is occupied. We can now oh, woohoo in there. Hopefully everyone will be asleep by the time we get there. Okay, I think Grandpa will take care of the dirty diaper, I think, that you have. Oh, okay. You, like, glitched. Are you really buff? When when did that Oh, okay. Cross stitching. When did he get this buff? I don't know. Co oh, she is fine. Um throw that away. Oh, it looks like Beatrice woke up Adam. He he got tired waiting for Sarah. Oh and I don't know if I ever mentioned the chick is his name is Egbert. Um, it's now a rooster. Hopefully we can get some hatchable eggs. I haven't checked the coop in a minute, so I guess John, that will be you. We have three eggs, so collect that and clean it. Now I don't know what you you must have ate something that was off the table because you are not hungry anymore. I'm level four communication. Okay, no hatchable eggs. All right, we're definitely, I think we're going to need to get another hen. So Mayday was a successful, only John celebrated, apparently. All right, Sarah may smell pretty bad, but, okay, Adam, I just woke you up for a reason. Come over to your wife. Make up for your indiscretion and come and stop going to bed. Try for a baby. The toddlers are out of the room. Thomas is asleep. It's now your time. An event like maybe the next upgrade to the house. We put a door on these bedrooms. Because right now it is anybody can see. So we're going to take our pregnancy test. Hopefully another baby on the way. 
we've, we've just had so many girls that it makes me nervous. Although eventually we'll have, will be wars and everything. So we need a lot to have a lot of boys because there's a good chance that they could die when, especially when they're teens, young adults and the wars, they'll go off to camp and then we have to do roles for them. Okay, we are pregnant. Another baby on the way and you are huge already. That I am nervous about. But Marie is off to go splash in a toilet. Uh, Beatrice is getting some food. Adam's eating. And then we'll get them all to sleep. It's five in the morning. They're gonna have a... Ooh. Okay. Adam, you're gonna have to like quickly use the toilet and sleep. We're, there might be need, there might be some naps tomorrow because I want to go to the castle. We have to make a cake. We need to make cheese and we also need to make a cheese pie, cheese tart. I don't remember what it was. And Adam, you're not supposed to be using an umbrella. Oh, apparently your trait of loves the rain is no longer there. Okay. Hopefully that gets, <laughs> that gets rid of it. Sarah, go to sleep. Thomas is fine. Okay. We will join them um, and say in the morning, but it is morning. So we'll just join them when they are a little bit more rested. Beatrice is not letting them sleep too long. And I love how they always go and wake up a grandpa. But we'll... Why is he so buff? It's, I guess it's from the blacksmithing. Oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> but um, maybe you can... Do you, what do you want? You want to go to bed? You're not tired. I'd say I think you need a diaper change. Okay, yeah, you're you're going to bed. Okay. Everyone else still needs a little bit more rest, but it's raining. Hopefully it clears up. And the birthday girl is awake and needing a bath. So I think, John, this would be a great time for you to do that. And we already have Marie's birthday notification. Um, Adam, you're going to clean. And oh, we got to we need spray for bugs. Okay, Sarah, you, oh, you are pretty well rested. Go take care of the infant and then we need to make this cake. So the birthday girl will be all clean just in time. Uh, I'm very nervous to do her rolls. Okay, Clara has come out. I was kind of worried she might stay in there. Uh, we do need to feed. And okay, John, I forgot like you need to clean these beds too. So I'm going to actually have Adam. He can't make cheese. No, okay. Hold on. We need to add, we'll add birthday candles. Oh, we can't afford them. Ten, oh, we're down to two bucks. I'm like, it's the center of the table. We do have, I have not been able to sell these on the table. Uh, like it glitches out and I don't know if it's because of like the overrides. So I'm going to sell these elements. They're both rare. So we'll have 280 bucks. I was kind of planning on doing that anyways, but just never got to it. So we can afford candles now. And then you're actually going to make cheese and Adam is going to help blow out candles for Marie. Bir birthday celebrations aren't too big just yet, especially with them being poor. But, um, and maybe like they know, oh, Thomas, self-soother, but maybe they know like, they lose kids all the time. Like that's pretty normal. So birthday, they might not put too much effort into birthdays, but our first child is finally here. I mean, she is our firstborn and has made it so far, but Anne just got to communication level four right on time. 1307 tomorrow. So let's, I'm going to put this cheese over here. The cheese and the cake look the same. But Marie, I'm going to randomize to see what her traits are. We don't have to stick with those. 
but kleptomaniac, adventurous, and brilliant. I think she likes to go play in the water and all that. I think she would like the outdoors. Um, and I could see it adventurous, but I kind of want to keep either kleptomaniac or brilliant. I don't know. Would that be in poor and struggling. I think she might be a kleptomaniac. It would be nice if she was brilliant. They would learn, she would learn so fast, but I'm going to do loves the outdoors instead. And then for trait, um, I guess like we'll just do social butterfly and we'll have to give you a makeover. I'm going to have Sarah start making. Hopefully we still have enough ingredients for it. Oh no, we don't. Oh, we, we, yes, we do have the cheese tart or we can do a meat and tomato tart. That might be better to bring to the castle. Like I feel like there's just like a little bit more effort put into it. So we're gonna have her make a meat and tomato tart. And I'm going to give Marie her makeover before we do her death roll. All right, here we have Marie. She is so pretty. I thought I had um, like an overlay for the headband, but I don't have it for child sims. But her outfits look pretty much the same. Um, and I thought I had like a top and bottom for kids that I had downloaded, but it was only for toddlers, I believe. So I need more kid clothes for this period. So I'll have to keep looking for that. But she is just so cute. I hope we keep her. <laughs> so we're gonna hop back in and do her death rolls. Okay, Marie, it is time. So for a child, they have a much better chance of surviving. We just cannot roll a 9 or a 19. So I need this one that isn't counting. Okay, maybe I wish it did count. But moment of truth. Three. Okay, we keep Marie. Yes. Good. All right. Well, um, you can have like some of your sponge cake. And okay, um, you're going to continue your tart. You're feeling very uncomfortable with a morning sickness. You're okay. But we have a bed all for you. You can sleep out here. And um, I mean, probably a little better than sleeping with an infant and a toddler. And hopefully we'll be able to build like a loft pretty soon. And it's 1030. I think we'll, we should have time to go to the castle. You're going to be a little tired. And so is Adam. But I think everything has... We haven't done any harvesting, but, um, okay, the chickens actually need a little bit more food. And how is Noble? Okay, you're fine for now, but we might as well refill with prairie grass your food. And then we can do harvesting, and tomorrow we can sell our crops. Or we can harvest and bring them to Henford on Bagley. So that might be uh, a better option to do. Not as convenient, but it would make more sense. And okay, John's like, you have money. <laughs> I can cross-stitch. Oh, and I guess Marie likes deep thoughts. That's fine. Sarah, after you're done cooking, we'll let you maybe... You're just going to wash your hands a few times. Get a little bit cleaned up. I don't want to take too long getting ready. So I'm going to make sure you don't eat... Don't take a... Okay. Make sure you don't take a slice. I'm going to put this in your inventory. And here, have a little bit of sponge cake, then wash your hands. We are also uh, 17 hours till the second trimester. So we'll have we'll give the baby the next time. We won't have it this episode. Wait, stop. Just eat. Eat, please. Okay. Time for Adam, Sarah, and Marie to head to the castle. Okay, we are at the castle. I did a couple makeovers, but of course everyone has umbrellas. We need to come... Oh, this is set as the front, front door. Knock on the door. Um, different maid is here, 
but one of the princesses and princes have aged up to teens so they're actually twins okay all right do i not get to go there we go i'm like do i not get to go inside um so there's a maid and there was one other thing and i have to find it okay there is there's a baby here i don't know where and i checked <laughs> down here no baby okay well we will have to explore that further um you need to find the queen <laughs> she went upstairs oh she's going further upstairs maybe we'll, we'll meet her up here where are you going oh, i think she has she needs to put away her correspondence. Oh, Marie and Adam are jokesters. I like that. But maybe I would like, there is another princess, Latisse. Gotta find them all. Oh, wait. I found the kid, I think. Yeah, they're, they're Soren. I did not give them a makeover because I kind of forgot while I was in cast. But, um, okay. You'll be a toddler soon. Where is... Oh, here is James. He's now a child. Attempt to introduce yourself. And we need the queen. Okay. I will have to go in their household and remove them from scouts. Everyone just ends up in scouts. Oh, and here's Latisse. She is an angry one, but attempt to introduce yourself to the queen. I don't know if we'll be able to give like an offering. Oh, servant. We can manage a servant. The, apparently the proper greetings imply Maria is overrated. Oh no. Apparently the proper greeting is to turn your back on them. That is not something I anticipated laws. Um, no, we will not be changing the laws. We want to, can we, I don't think we can give a gift. Imply attraction. Let's exclaim adoration. Be, oh, I don't think, she didn't seem too impressed, but we did get a little bit of friendship out of that. So we'll just have to uh, leave our offering on the table and I well I don't know how here we'll leave it there don't know how Marie oh oh you came down here to use the creepy bathroom <laughs> okay oh here comes Soren but okay you actually have a little bit of friendship with James I want you to meet Latisse, um, cause I think, you know, actually she's kind of more of an outdoorsy kid. I don't think she would be that interested in like princesses. Maybe she wants, she's more interested in like knights. So why don't imply he's overrated? Why don't you ask about his interests and oh, why? That's right, they, like, she has, like, a little bit, oh, look at their romance, has a little bit of, like, a grudge against him, and that was before he was flirting. She doesn't know that he was flirting, but I don't know, maybe she has a feeling. Okay, you're very tired, but good reputation. Ew, you want to s steal something? Um, is there... Attempt to swipe. Okay, I was saying, like, is there anything here we could steal? If we get caught, like, I I think that might be your head. I don't know if they would... She was successful. Good. I don't know how they would feel, like... And that's one thing I think would be good, like... If someone gets caught, like, pickpocketing special... Especially someone from, like, a more noble class. Oh, siblings are sweet. Like someone from a more noble class or even part of the royal family or anyone on their court, if they get pickpocketed or you're caught stealing by one of them, I think we should do some sort of role where like you end up in jail or a fine, maybe they let you go or you're executed, something like that. 
Um, it does seem like Maria has cracked down on laws a little bit, outlawed um, infidelity, which Adam was kind of towing the line there, and also like no witchcraft. So it's kind of based off the whims uh, and feelings of the monarchs. And right now it is Maria calling the shots. The king is still not here. So um, don't go take a bath here. That is inappropriate. We will get kicked out, even down in the crypt. Um, I don't. Oh, they're eating our our cheese, our meat and meat and tomato tart. Oh, they like it. Okay, so this is good. I think the we at least are gonna have a good reputation with the royals. So maybe we can get like kind of a break on some things like right now we're not paying taxes because well the tax guy is broken but they don't seem too worried about that so everyone is really tired they did enjoy our tart and that is great maria seems to like sarah and um oh here let's meet latisse or try to and I don't know how impressed Marie would be with... Oh, you're going to pass out. Okay. We're going to go home. This is maybe a little bit embarrassing. But I don't know how impressed Marie is with, like, being a lady in waiting. She'd probably want to be a, a knight or something like that. But we will see where her story takes her. And there's... They're just like, okay, there's a baby right here. What do we do? <laughs> All right, well, Marie is conscious again. Looks like Henry, or no, that's James. James is going to enjoy some of the food as well. And here is Henry, who is a teen. And like, he has such a, like, a square head. And he's arching an eyebrow right now. But like in cast, it, he looked very very serious and he looks a little bit more friendly here but we're gonna go back home so i think this was a successful meeting of the royal family and we'll see how things develop from there and as we get home, back home i completely realized that i forgot to really touch on soren i just got so distracted that we couldn't find him um soren is the king's son <laughs> I do know that I had popped into their household when just to see how things were and the twins were about to age up so I didn't do anything. I wanted to wait for them to age up on their own. But I did look at their family tree. Soren is the king's and I'm pretty sure Maria was did not get pregnant or got pregnant after the king left so maybe they are mending things or they had a moment of a weakness so just a little bit more intrigue with the royal family but it is downpouring um the infant is scared i think john is yeah like the, there's a toddler smells can you change your diaper you actually have um energy change her diaper. Adam, you can go take a nap. Sarah, you can take a bath. And Marie, get some sleep. So Beatrice smells. You need some food. We only have sponge cake right now. And um, Thomas is fine. Like, oh, Cassandra had her baby. Where, Adam, what are you doing? No, just go take a nap. Um, he's fine sleeping next to his crib. But let's look. What did they have? Oh, they had a boy, Dwight. We will change that name when he becomes an infant. But that's exciting. So we should, for, I think for our main side household, I will do the death rolls. Eleanor, we won't do all of them. We'll do some of them. But Matthew is our main one because he has the the family name If um, in case things don't work out with Adam. So Matthew's number one, then Eleanor, and hopefully we don't have to go any further than that. 
So let's quickly do the death roll for Cassandra and Dwight. Well, Dwight for now. So Cassandra first, so anything but a 1. And we got a 12. And now for the baby, so anything but 5, 10, 15, or 20. And 4. Okay, they both survive. Matthew's been lucky. He hasn't experienced the loss of a child yet. All right, and you're getting your sponge cake. So we're going to let them kind of get some rest here. It's storming out. Not really much for us to do. Okay, Clara is fine. Kind of keep my eye on her so she doesn't run away. And we do need to sell Charles. So I think that is what we will do. Trade for simoleons. Um, Charles is an elder. And then the others are young adults or adults. So John will go out and do that. And then I think we'll probably join them tomorrow for 1307. Is that right? Yes, 1307. All right, we're moving right along. Before you know it, we will be at the famine. It is six in the morning on 1307. You're hungry. We have some chunky vegetable stew. Oh, plates up here. Um, that is still good. And we still have sponge cake. So everyone's going to get up. We will have to probably work on chores. Oh yeah, Adam, you went to sleep not that long ago, but you need to come in clean. Clara will feed chickens. There's only a couple eggs. We need to do some har- oh yeah, we're gonna harvest everything so that we can sell it um, in Hunford on Bagley. I think we'll do that next time. But, um, like, they haven't done any laundry in a couple days. That's going to get really backed up. Um, but there we go, 1307. I don't know why it's only showing up for John. That is kind of weird. But other than that, I think everything... Oh, you're thinking about woohoo? You're a little young for that. <laughs> you're just... Maybe you're just curious about it. Like, where do babies come from? That I can understand. But... Marie can help out now. Um, so you, I think you need what the mental skill in order to harvest, but we can evolve some plants. So even though we have um, like a bug zone, our plants are holding up pretty well. It's either bug zone or crepes, or crepes, <laughs> crops blight. And then our bees, I kind of forget about them, but we can collect beeswax and honey. And Noble is just running free. But Marie can help, like, keep the house clean. She can get water and help. Um, like, she can feed the chickens. And also Clara, she can kind of do some of that stuff. Uh, so that will be really nice, especially once the new baby's here. And with how big Sarah is... I'm convinced it's at least two. And maybe you can come and uh, gather some water right now. You can look for frogs. I'm sure this will be one of your favorite activities. And maybe she'll even be curious about archery and blacksmith. I don't, I don't really see her as being like the, a typical, um, in the typical feminine roles, I guess, for this time period. But, um, this is also the only like short sleeve thing that I have for kids. Um, you know, you couldn't catch a frog. Aw, maybe here, let's try again. I had to get a screenshot of this. Look how cute she is. I wish you could catch these fireflies. That would be, or fire dragonflies, whatever they are. Okay, you got a surfer eggplant frog. And you know what, she can even do like where is it? Some fishing if you, um, oh, you're too uncomfortable. Okay. Oh no, I'm on Sarah, not Marie. And say so Marie can even do like some fishing. So why don't you do that? You love the water as a toddler. We do. I'm sure we have a few gifts from family. So Adam's going to get the mail. Um, we haven't, I don't think we've ever checked our mail. Oh, John, I'm pretty sure you probably kicked that over. 
Oh, and Marie also has the mental skill now. Did you get the mail? No, you did not. I told you to. You. Okay, don't. I'm resetting you. Reset. And the maid, like when I hired the maid at some point for the royal family, like they show up here and I don't get it. Okay, we have a few more toys. I mean, okay, no, this one is also, I think, an override for the toys. So it's like a little shield. Um, butterfly isn't. And okay, we have a uh, jaguar, maybe? I don't know, but then we're going to get rid of this one. 120 bucks? Sure. We'll pretend we, got, we were sent money from maybe Cassandra and Matthew. Oh, I don't think she's caught a fish yet. Nope, not her first one. Aww. I'll let you... Nope. Well, good try. You can go back home. Um, it'll be nice, probably a little escape from her to come out and fish a little bit away from the household. Oh, you're, you're really hot. I mean, I thought you'd be in your... I guess this isn't your hot weather outfit. It's very similar. Oh no, that is your hot weather. I forgot. Oh, Matthew's here. Here, you can um, invite him in once you get here. You can see, like, look, I've, uh, I'm well grown up. I don't know why you're sad and <laughs> you get rid of that nose ring. But you just had a healthy baby. And I think maybe... We, so we're not going to go with Dwight. That's not the name I want. Hold on. I want to look at some of the names that I have written down that I will change it to. I think we're going to change Dwight when he's an infant to Edward. So I have a couple lists uh, that we will go by, but Edward would be a nice name. And there will be, I'm going to do repeats of names, but I'm not, I'm going to try to not do it too much so that we can tell who's who um, with the generations. Oh, but Noble Sad, um, I don't think you can, no, you can't really do much. So Adam, you're going to stop harvesting and maybe give her a brush. Um, can you clean, you can, oh no, you can only put that in your inventory. So you can clean up the horse manure. Oh, the trader is back. So we haven't really made like any money. Oh yeah, it's really hot. Here, why don't you um, talk about your siblings with Beatrice? We only have one that's alive now. But I think we will actually leave this one here. So we are now in 1307 and I think we did quite a bit this episode. I'm really happy. And next time we'll be having another baby. So we got to see the royal family, meet some of them. We aged up Marie and she survived into childhood. I'm super happy about that. So I look forward to continuing on. And let me know what you think in the comments, any suggestions you might have. And as always, hit that like button and subscribe. So I will see you all next time. Bye.